Hello friends and family, this is Jerry once again, out and about Austin, <laughs> uh, basically trekking out for treesies over here at the Vortex. It is an Italian food restaurant and tonight happens to be National Italian Food Night. So we're checking out their Cabanero, Cab uh, Cabanero Alexandra, and their uh, meatballs. Okay, take a look. You can see that raw egg right there in the uh, cabanera. <laughs> okay, we got our meatball right here. Right there, so. Mm. Gonna give all this a try here and let you know how everything is in a second. It's a real popular restaurant. I heard about it today from um, uh, Ann on 94.7 FM. Uh, she was talking about this is one of her favorite places. I happen to be in the area, so I went ahead and checked it out. So. Let's see what it's like. Okay, first off, we have the meatball here. It's supposed to be a beef meatball with some other type of. So it's a meatball um, with beef and I think one other type of meat that I just can't quite remember right now. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste real quick. It looks pretty hot, it's steaming. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty nice. That's it. Um, first thing you notice, taking a look at it, it's all the spices within the meat right there, see? It's all the spices within the meat. Um, <laughs> let's see, so you can see there. You give it a real flavor one. Spicy taste. One thing I also want to mention too, as I'm sitting here in the garden, <laughs> me. I'm sitting here in the garden. <laughs> Give me a close up of my face here. And you can see when you look on here, you can see right there, they actually have spices growing inside the area here. So you can tell the spices are fresh <laughs> and they're really good. <laughs> Sorry, I keep giving you a close-up. <laughs> um, so, that was a nice meatball. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try the cabanero real quick here. Okay, so we mixed up the egg into the uh, cabanero. It says, pose and makes it creamy. Wrapped up some around the spoon here. Everything is here is locally sourced. The fettuccine is made fresh here on a daily basis. The bacon is from the local area as well too. I, I've already showed you how the spices come from right right next to me here. Also of interest, they don't actually have salt shakers on the table. It looks like they actually give you a lump <laughs> of Himalayan salt. So this is your salt right here. <laughs> now me personally, I'm not too trusting of this. I don't know who's licked it. <laughs> I don't know who's dropped it. I don't even know how they grind it up to get it all on their plate. But suppose if you want salt, I guess this is the way you would get it. So <laughs> that's a little too hip for me. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, see. Here. All right. Okay. And here we go. Hmm. <laughs> hey, first start is good, but to me, you could probably use a little bit of that salt. Mm -hmm. That's a personal taste kind of thing. Um, it's nice, thick cut bacon. The fettuccine is pretty good, you can tell it's pretty fresh. I see here. I don't taste the raw egg in there, and that's a good thing for me because that would probably turn me off a little bit. I'm trying to think back to when I was actually in Italy and I had pasta. Actually, I probably have to say this is a little bit better than some of the stuff I've had in Italy. Uh, you know, uh, the best thing I had in Italy was the risotto. How are you doing? And that was pretty good, so. Mm. Mm. 
second bite, I made sure I got a lot more bacon in it. It was a lot much better, a lot better uh, with the additional bacon added to it. I made sure I got at least good two or three pieces of bacon on there. It's pretty good. So I'll talk to y'all in a second. Mm -hmm. Now with the third bite, I got a lot of the spices in there. And it's full leaf, fresh cut uh, oregano, fresh cut thyme and basil. And when it hit against that pasta, it really popped. And you can tell the distinct flavors kind of like blending together. Pretty damn good. Um, you know, like I said, I've been a lot of places and they eat Italian food. I've been to Italy, I've been to China and they eat Italian uh, Actually, where was I when I was in Japan eating Chinese food? Yeah. This is pretty good for Texas here. Uh, generally, there's a place in the domain, Maggiano's, I believe, that I like to eat a lot of my Italian uh, food at. It has a great environment for drinking wine and sitting out there eating a nice lasagna or uh, shrimp scampi over there. But this, um, the freshness of the ingredients here and the whole leaf and uh, naturalness, I guess you could say, of the, of the spices really builds the flavor here and makes it a really good food to eat. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that meatball can get it. That was pretty damn good. Uh, the different spices in there kind of mingling. And then with the carbonara, the uh, carbonara Alexander, each time it was like a different, different flavor burst because one time you'd have more bacon, another time you'd have more seasoning. Uh, I was just so good, I kind of bit my fart. <laughs> Didn't even know. <laughs> that I was basically chewing on part of the fork, so <laughs> it didn't really matter, so it was actually pretty good. Enjoyed it a lot. So, once again, this is Patrizzi's East Austin uh, in, in the Vortex. Really good Italian food, locally grown. Seasonings right in the yard here. <laughs> fresh oregano, fresh uh, basil, fresh rosemary. <laughs> and um, part of the gentrification of Austin, but pretty damn good. All right, we'll talk to you later. And if you know of any other places I should try out, just give me a call or text me or email me. Uh, this is once again about Austin with PJ and Jay. Uh, Jay uh, PJ is not here today, he's out driving for uh, Uber, meeting up new people and find out other places for us to check out. So, we'll talk to you later, bye-bye. <laughs>